All right, so in this video, part seven, this is going to go over the OSL functions, and we're going to also uh, make a really cool walk-in teleporter that we're going to be able to just walk into, and it'll teleport us to wherever we set it to go, uh, either the hypergrid um, or locally, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and get the OSL functions, which I have here um, that I've already prepared. I'm going to give you guys this on the website, on the orshop.com. So just go there and grab a copy of this. Uh, we're just going to highlight this here. And we're going to go into the server. Now, it needs to be done on every one of the open sim innies that you have like for this one and this one doesn't worry about robust because um, it's already set in there so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to open up tutorial welcome center bin and open sim dot ini there we go now here what we need to do is we're going to place it under x engine you're going to see uh, this section right here, OSL function very low. Just highlight that, and if you've copied uh, this other bit of code that I gave on the website to your clipboard, you can just paste, and it'll override and put all this in there. Okay, and all those are set accordingly, um, so you can just save that. Now we got to do the same thing for uh, the sandboxes. So we're going to go in, we're going to go down and find X engine. And there's this line there. We'll just highlight it and paste and save. Uh, and we're going to do that in the setup one too. Use me to set up because that way we never have to do this again. It's just, it'll be there already. Let me copy this over to make a new one. So we'll go here and we'll go to the X engine. And there it is, and we'll replace, not that one, this one, OSL function, and just paste, and save. Okay, uh, it's going to require a restart now. Um, let's restart this one first, because I'm at the welcome center. And we'll go to the sandbox. Let's start the sandbox back up. And then we'll pop over there, and then we'll restart the welcome. That way we don't get logged out. Okay, so that's back up. So we're going to go and teleport over to the sandbox real quick. And we're going to restart the welcome. That way it loads those OSL functions. Sandboxes. Uh, welcome. And I actually I have to check to see I may have made a boo boo here. Uh, let's go back into the welcome center bin. Open some I and I. Uh, yeah, this I need you guys for it for it to read this. You have to uncomment this. Allow OS functions and change to true. So we forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, good thing about op open uh, Notepad++, it keeps them already open that you had. So these are the two there. So all I got to do is just really quickly go and scroll up and where it's right there. Allow OS functions, true. And we'll save that. And we'll save it on this one as well. So remember to do that. Um, that needs to be done. I should have included it before. I forgot. Okay, so now that that's done, we have to restart again. Uh, let's see which region we're on. I think we're on the sandbox. Yep. So we're on the sandbox still. Let's uh, restart the welcome center. Now I'm flipping through pages like crazy, but so many things open at once. All right. So now that that's done, let's restart that.
Alright, I'm gonna pop over there real quick and we'll do the same, restart. Oops, still not up yet. Let's go log in, enable, and force it to enable logins even if the scripts aren't started. Okay. Which there shouldn't be any scripts there anyways. There's not much trees and prims. Okay, next uh, we'll restart the sandbox. Check the time. Five minutes. All right. So the sandbox is restarting. Okay, now we have OSL functions enabled. Let's go ahead and implement the script for walking teleporters. So let's go ahead and make a teleporter. I'm going to make a box here. Okay. Now we're going to put the teleporter we'll put it right here. Along that wall. Oh, I got to stretch both sides on the double tap. So this is going to be our teleporter. Just hide it under here like this, and we'll make it black because uh, it just looks cool. Or you can even put a, lo a picture on there of a sandbox. Anyways, just to get the idea. Now um, I'm going to. You have to go to your in your inventory and uh, create a new script, and we're going to call this Walk In Teleporter. And you're going to come to my website and grab the bit of code that will be uh, by the video. Uh, and it's going to start here and go all the way down to uh, here. And you're going to go in back into your, and you're just going to paste that in there like that and save. Okay. Uh, and don't we don't have to do anything other with that because we don't play with the script at all. We it's all done with the object name and description to set it up. So just drag the script inside the contents of that prim that you have there. And now we have to set the region. So uh, the first section is just the, what the object name is. We're just going to call it sand box walk in. Just so we, if we take a copy to our inventory, we know how to find it. There. Now, there's a certain way you have to define the description, and I'm going to give you this section on my website as well. So you just cut and paste in here. Uh, the, I'm going to go. The first section is the floating text. So what you will see um, in the floating text of the print. So we're going to go sandboxes or sandbox. And this is going to, you have to have the exact region name. So the best way to do it is to open the app, click on it, and then copy this here because that way you get the exact spelling. So we're going to go, which is you know, sandbox, that's the name. Now this is the location you want to put the person. So we're going to go 128 and 128. And since land is at 21, we're going to go 22, just, just to be safe. So that should be putting them right in the middle of that region. Now this is the rotation, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Now that that's set, um, you just have to take it to your inventory, re res it, and uh, walk into it. And you'll see how, that it takes me to the region uh, that I specified and the location that I asked it to take me. Now we're going to set up a hypergrid teleporter, which is quite easy as well. So we're going to call this Sky Live Grid because I want to make a walking teleporter that goes to the welcome region there. This is going to be the floating text name, so Sky Live Grid. And here you need to put the uh, login URL. Um, so it would be login.skylive.com. Grid.com two. Now, if you wanted to go to a certain specific region in the grid, you could also define um, a region here, and then um, it would go there. But we're going to just go to the welcome center Providing it be this way. Okay, so take. We might need a slash at the end. Oh yeah, I forgot OSL functions are needed here. Let's go back to the um, welcome center here.
Yeah, I need to add login.skylightgrid.com slash and there we go it's going to take me over to skylight and I'm in skylight yeah, I should grab an outfit I don't even know if that'll work because I think I have it disabled. Oh look, he gave it to me. Let's go back to my home grid. Get back in there. Yes. Oh. Working. What do you mean it's not fun? It must not be set up in Robust uh, to define as default landing region. Anyways, um, could not find asset. No, it's probably not. It's it's doing that probably because I restricted it on Skylight for people to draw the assets off the grid. For security reason. Anyways, that is how you set up a walk-in teleporter for the hypergrid. Okay? I hope you find this tutorial useful.